mother and daughter torn apart, is the little sister what came between them? Or are there deeper issues? Here's what you missed in our last half hour. Vera says her mother loves her little sister more than her, and her mom has even admitted it. She says ever since her sister Tyla was diagnosed with Lyme disease, it's all about the Tyla show, and she's sick of it. She calls their family toxic. Sunny says Dara is a delusional drama queen. She says Dara resents her for caring for her younger ill daughter, and she's completely exhausted by Dara's behavior. Before I went into treatment, I called my mom and I told her um, that I had relapsed again and I was, you know, needed to go into treatment. And I did ask her, you know, will you drive two and a half hours to drive me? And I, I could drive myself. I was fully capable, but I was really but you needed your mom. stressed and I wanted my mom. And I said, you know, I feel like if you don't come and take me, like I'm suicidal, I'm gonna kill myself. She said, like, go ahead and kill yourself. And she hung up. The reason we stopped talking for five months was she was going to come down and take me to have surgery. If I'm gonna have surgery, I need the one day to be all about me. So can you, you know, can you do that? And my mom said, yes, absolutely. A week before the surgery, my mom called and said, Tyler wants a, uh, needs to go to a craniosacral doctor in New York City. And the day they want to do it is the day of your surgery. So I don't think my mom is wrong for how much she's done for my sister. In yeah. fact, I think it's really admirable that she's mm -hmm. able to love my sister in the way that she is. Mm -hmm. I just wish I could get like a fraction of that. Yeah. One day, you have one day. Yeah. I am really sorry for Anything I've done to hurt your feelings, for hurting your feelings over the years, for making you feel less loved, I am sorry. Good. See, that's all she needed. <laughs> Great moment. <laughs> yeah, that's all she needed. Before today, Dara hadn't spoken to her mother, Sunny, in months. Dara feels her mother loves her sister, Tyler, more. Tyler, please come on out. Hey there, Tyler. Hi, how are How would you? you describe your relationship with your mother? I would say we're very close. I think considering the whole illness, she's really stepped in as a, you know, caregiver. Like with the Lyme disease, it's basically just this debilitating fatigue. I was having these seizures. I was having like serious PTSD over it. I basically lost all my friends, had to drop out of life because it was just, because how can you be so thriving in one second and then the next just be so sick? It really was overnight for you. It really was. And everything changed. Have yeah. you recovered? Um, you know, I'm at the point where I'm doing a lot better. The fact that I can stand right now is like a really oh, big achievement. Yeah. Good. It's huge progress. And I'm sleeping on my own now. So good for you. Good for me. Thank goodness. Can we ask, what's your relationship like with Dara? Um, I mean, I think now, I think it's incredibly strained, which is unfortunate. Like, you have called me a burden, and the fact that you said that, like, yeah. how am, if I could get off the couch, I would have gotten off the couch. If I, like, could stop having seizures, you know I would stop. Well, right. I mean, I think when I called her a burden, um... It was so incredibly hurtful, yeah. and then later that night, I had a seizure. Yeah. Like, you know how that affected me, and so... <laughs> Yes, and, and Dara, 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 can I ask? Yeah. Did you, you, do you know how much that hurt her that yeah. you said she was a burden? Could yeah. you please apologize to and her I'm, for us? And I have, and I'm so sorry, Tyler, and if I could take back those words, I would, and I'm, I'm very, very sorry. I think to get her to react, you go at me and use me as a pawn, and mm -hmm. I feel like that doesn't create a good dynamic for us, because then I'm like, whoa, do I even trust her? Because she's kind of like using me in this way. It makes me feel really unsafe. How do you feel like I've used you? Because I, I don't think I do that, but maybe I do. So how do you feel like I have? You just say really bad things about me, and like, mm -hmm. particularly in that one fight where after I had a seizure, you said really hurtful things about me, how I was such a burden, how you like really didn't like that I was there in your space and everything. And then, because you knew that would get to mom, and I just think, well, I don't, I, like, I that doesn't make Definitely, Tyler, don't do anything to get to mom through you. That said, 
I do think that the only way mom feels anything is if you're involved. Right. So like, mm. I, but I don't, I, right. I don't lash out at you to try to like manipulate no, anything or whatever. Like, but Tyler, yes, but, they're just but working Tyla. this all out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think this is beautiful that you guys are talking. Because yeah. I mean, because communication is key, it really yeah. is.